Police departments across our region have struggled to keep full staff and now it's affecting the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport. The airport needs a police presence and they've turned to the district attorney's office for help. WBRE WYOU Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dumphy joins us live from Avoca. Hi Julie. Hey guys, good evening. Luzerne County Council is actually voting tonight on whether or not to make that happen. Now, it would require a new position to be made, but it's a position that is needed for everyone's safety and security here at the airport. Going through security at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, you'll notice the bins and, of course, TSA. But you may not always realize a law enforcement officer is standing by watching for either someone disorderly. Uh, someone trying to bring items onto an airplane that, you know, are technically not allowed. Uh, we need somebody with arrest powers to be on site that can respond immediately. AVP needs officers. Avoca Police had provided that coverage in the past, but the borough recently canceled its contract with the airport. So the airport approached the Luzerne County District Attorney's Office. The surrounding departments obviously have little resources. It's very difficult to find part-time officers right now to cover. Uh, we were approached, I think, for that reason. And they need officers fast. There is a rush to get it staffed. AVP needed officers to staff security checkpoints this week. So Luzerne County Task Force officers are at the airport now, putting a rush on council's vote. We got an extension from TSA um, that allowed us uh, to basically have this meeting. Um, so hopefully everything goes smoothly and you know we'll be up and running immediately. The vote will create a new position for new hires. It will be part time, $18 an hour. Council will take that to a vote tonight at 6 o'clock. We'll keep you updated on their decision. For now, reporting live in Avoca, Julie Dunphy, 2822 Eyewitness News. Back to you guys. Julie, thank you.